Hi guys, Troy at the Full Setup here, back with another video for you today. Now, I recently took a little trip to go see um, the family back home, and um, it was all right. It did rain the whole time. Well, it's England, so it always rains. But as soon as I got there, my stepdad really wanted to show me all his new music equipment. So take a little look at that. Now, I know what you're thinking here. You haven't done reviews on all of this music equipment. No, I wouldn't even know where to start. You can hear the audio right now. I do not know about audio editing. But there's one thing you might have seen on there, and that was his new 15-inch MacBook Pro with Touch Bar. Now, this isn't any MacBook Pro. It's a $3,500 configuration. It comes with a 2.9 gig i7 quad core, which I think turbo boosts to about 3.9 gigahertz. It's got the maxed out 16 gigabytes of RAM. That's the max that they do with this model. Um, it's also got the upgraded graphics as well, which I think is the AMD Pro 460. Um, the only thing he didn't max out, but he did upgrade, was just a measly, tiny little one terabyte PCI SSD. So I know what you're thinking here. Why didn't you talk him out of it? Look, whatever your views are, Mac Windows, I understand why they serve a purpose. Now, I did try and say to him, I knew he was always going to be a Mac user. That's what he likes to use. But I did try and say to him, do you know what? Why don't you just buy an entry level MacBook Pro and then go and buy yourself a lovely iMac, have the 5K screen, the full size USB ports. But he just wanted it all in one config and I can't understand why. But I was playing with it and it was quite a good experience. I just wouldn't pay $3,500 for one. But I thought, $3,500 laptop, it's got to be pretty powerful. So I ran Cinebench on it. Then I got thinking a bit more. I'm pretty sure most of my hardware runs Cinebench quite a bit better than that. So I decided to pitch it against the PC. PC I'm pitching it against is an i7-5820K um, build. Um, this cost me about £1,000 to build, so it's available for about $1,250. Um, now, you will look at the parts description and think it probably cost you more than that. No, I was quite frugal. No, I know some really good places to buy it, so I've sort of put a link in the description um, of all the different sort of places that I bought it. And also, I did buy the processor OEM, the motherboard was open box, and my cooler was a factory refurbished as well. Moving on to the spoiler alert. Now, I think we all know that my PC is going to absolutely smash this. Um, did forget to mention that it's got a GTX 1060 in there. I think it's going to win. So what you're seeing right here on your screen now is in the top left hand corner, we've got the MacBook Pro. Um, in the top right hand corner, I've got my six core i7 5820K, which is overclocked to 4.3 gigahertz, even though it displays as uh, 3.3 there. And then the other two, what I've decided to do is um, I've actually turned off some of the cores on the processor. So we have a four core with four threads overclocked to 4.3 gigahertz. That's going to simplify size you know a nice i7 build with a modest overclock and then the one in the bottom left hand corner is a two core so two threads so i've turned four of the cores off running at 4.3 gigahertz again so that's almost going to simulate the sort of um, benchmark that you would get out of some of the newer kb lake i3s that are starting to hit the four gigs and over barrier so let's let this benchmark run Surprise, surprise, the six core finished first. So we've got 1266 Cinebench points with 145 frames per second on the uh, GPU rendering as well. Coming in second, we have the four core, four thread with 841 Cinebench points. So that's 425 slower than the six core. But strangely enough, it scored five frames per second more than the six core. So 150 frames per second there um, from the GTX 1060. Coming in in third place and sort of where I thought was going to finish in third, we have the $3,500 MacBook Pro scoring 732 Cinebench points. That's 534 slower than the six core. Strangely though, quite close to the four core, only finishing at 109 um, points less, um, but the frames per second as expected are much lower, um, um, but still a really good 82.5 frames per second. So that's about 60, 65 frames per second lower than the four and six cores. Um, so now you are just gonna have to wait along for the two core to finish. Um So the two core has just finished, so we've got 411 Cinebench points, that's 855 slower than the um, six core, 430 less than the four core hyper-threaded, I forgot to mention six cores hyper-threaded as well, and 321 slower than the $3,500 MacBook Pro, but still with a massive 140 frames per second. 
So, obviously that is only Cinebench. This laptop is portable. But should you go and spend three and a half thousand dollars on one, I think you would be absolutely mad. I think you should do the config that I said at the beginning. If you are a Mac user, go out and buy a MacBook Pro and an iMac. Um, and if you're a PC user, Jesus, you could get some serious rigs going for this. You could buy like an entry level Asus uh, ROG with a GTX 1060 in it, 1080p display. Fantastic gaming, probably set you back about $1,250. That would leave you over $2,000 to build a PC. So it's gonna be loads better than this. We could be looking at maybe eight cores, um, upcoming Ryzen's GTX 1080s you can put a Vega in it when they come out so yeah of course it's good it's portable as said but it's definitely not worth three and a half thousand dollars in my opinion um, there we go just a quick video for you um, so thanks for watching um, if you like it tell me why if you don't like it tell me why um, and if you want to see any type of video from me in the future just let me know and please don't forget to subscribe